I'm here with Alex Vaughn, talented singer from the East Coast, rep in Maryland. And when I try to walk away, you hide yourself to make me stay. This is crazy, yeah. Oh, this is crazy, crazy. We're headed to Organics in Glendale today. Yes. Really excited for this restaurant. Excited and hungry. So yeah, this place Organics, they have all kinds of really cool stuff. I checked their menu yesterday. They have uh, a lot of sandwiches and burgers. Um, they have burritos too. Are they plant-based instead of like meat or? Oh yeah, their whole uh, orchestration is um, is plant-based. Okay. Whole deal. So I'm super excited to try out, try out a burrito today. I'm a big burrito guy. You seem like a burrito guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At first when I was younger, I was into tacos, but now it's burrito way. You know what's so funny? I used to love tacos, like school lunch tacos. Yeah. But then I stopped liking tacos. And now I live in LA and I am a taco. Huh. <laughs> cause they're everywhere and they're cheap. Exactly. And they're fire. I like cause it's the corn tortilla. Yeah. That's what makes it good. I don't yeah. like flour tortilla. And hard shell taco, I always had braces, so I yeah. can never like do all that. Next left, and then no. right turn onto <laughs> A134. I hub. I'm so I'm so mad. Oh, about this one that. didn't get changed yet. Honestly, what's goofy is that they didn't even change it to like breakfast. It's burgers. They're trying yeah. to make burgers, but they're trying to reinvent because I hop, I don't know. But I hop pancakes are that they are, yeah, they are good. Exactly. My thing with the with the I hop is just that I like the pancakes, man. I don't you don't need to rebrand it as burgers. Like burgers are gross. I'm not trying to eat dead animals. Honestly, people are like getting so out of eating meat. The fact that you tried to recreate a burger joint in your restaurant. Yeah. No one's no. Exactly. I mean, it's now, a dying it's a dying thing. It's like, like myself, I'm not really a big breakfast person. I've never been a pancake person. I don't think I've ever ordered my own entree of pancakes from IHOP. But yeah. when I do go, I always get at least two bites of someone else's. So, how do you like LA so far? I mean, I know you're pretty new out here. I am definitely still very new out here, so I can't say so much, but it's beautiful. Yeah. That's one thing I can say for sure. The sun, it never lets me down, except when it's 100 degrees, because that's intense. But I love it, I love LA. This is definitely a place where I want to grow that's and great. am growing. So, to be here was already live here is already like half the battle so right that's great that I love you, know, it. you made the you made the leap and it turned out to be what you wanted you know it's just a really positive thing like when you know like the universe is telling you like you're in the right place absolutely it's crazy because i've always spoken that i was going to live out in la right at some point i spoke that i was going to be out here more this year mm -hmm. and when the opportunity was presented to me to live out here like i didn't feel like it was in my timing but the fact that it was presented to me showed that it was yeah so i was like yeah i'm going yeah so i know you have a project on the way right what's the name of it it's actually called the shift the shift right so what is what's the meaning behind that so the shift is about the transition between the person that you've been the person that you are and the person that you are working to become because you know we're all out here whether you're in la or just just this age right we're working to become the person we want to be and us being that person in the middle and just all the emotions and thoughts that go through your mind as you go through this transition but what we all have to remember is that this is part of life like every adult yeah. everyone you've ever spoken to says the 20s is this time of life yeah so i think you know i think the key to living a good life is just kind of being more conscious of where you are and knowing that what's for you is going to be for you no matter what so just keep moving that's and some, take it day by day that's some lauren hill type wisdom right there is it yeah <laughs> since you're pretty new out here um you probably don't have that many places that you like to eat yet but have you found any that you, that you, that you enjoy or 
Um, yeah, I'm definitely still exploring. There's a lot of food out here. There's right. so much variety. Like, there's Koreatown, you can get actual Korean food. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, you know, this isn't a thing, at least for me, back in Maryland. Yeah. But, um, I've had in a ramen out here. Ramen is fire. Oh, yeah, big oh, facts. God. I don't know, like, what ramen. There's this place called Slurping Ramen. Yeah. I'm childish. I giggle every time I see it. <laughs> so but yeah, that ramen is fire. I'm also not trying to get fat, so I'm trying to, like, not explore that much. Right, right. But I know there's some good vegan and healthy spots. I like, I'm not a vegan. Yeah. But okay. I do like vegan food. I was a vegan once. I was oh, a vegan really? for 28 days. Yes. What, oh, why did you give it up? You just missed meat too much? Well, no, I just wanted to just, just do a month. See what yeah. it was like. It, how it happened was I was on my lunch break one time at work. Yeah. I work downtown DC, so it's oh, okay. a lot of food. And I was like, do I want to go to Shake Shack and get a burger? Or do I want to go to this vegan place that my friend had told me about? Yeah. And I just decided to go to the vegan place. And then I was bombed. And then I went there another day. So I did it for 28 days. I lost a ton of weight. I think it was also a combination of me being stressed at the time. Yeah. <laughs> but day 28, I celebrated and went to Popeyes. Like, that's all my huh. body wanted me to do. Do you have any specific foods or drinks that you use to preserve your voice when you're singing? I always have water on that. Okay. Always stay hydrated. Like, yeah. you see my car, it's ridiculous. I have so many, <laughs> so many water bottles. Just always water. I think that's the key. Yeah. You know, you don't want to do anything too detrimental or eat anything. Um, that just produces like phlegm. Right, right. I know dairy products are full performance, but I'm not gonna go to a pizza party, ice cream party, yeah. and hop on stage. Right, for sure. I still eat regularly, like, you yeah. know, but I think the key is just staying hydrated, yeah. drinking water. Yeah, for sure. Always having water on deck. Yeah, and tea for me, that's one thing I, I try to use. But... I do like tea. I feel like, I think it's a psychological thing. Like, if yeah. my voice is sore, I'm like, oh, I have to drink hot tea to sleep, but I think it's just, just water with tea. Yeah. Hot tea is clutch, so let's not sleep. Passion tea, shout out to Passion tea. This is big hype, though. I'm excited to eat here. I'm excited just because I'm hungry. Yeah. <laughs>Southern Bell sounds fun. Fried chicken sandwich? I'm scared. I think I'm gonna get the CBR, grilled chicken, be grilled vegan chicken, mozzarella cheese, homemade herb ranch, yeah. easy coconut bacon, grilled onions, lettuce, and tomato, and sourdough bread. That sounds damn good. That sounds like my speed. All this stuff sounds really good. Everything sounds crazy. And they have and chicken they, fingers. Yeah, and they have like really dope drinks here. Like all the health drinks. They got ginger beer, they got kombucha, they got yerba mate. Ginger they got, beer? Yeah. I, like ginger. I think I like ginger beer. Think. Yeah, oh, it's good. It's really good. Have, have you ever had kombucha that. before? I had it once, it's and so good. it's kind of threw my, it just threw me off. I think I yeah. have the right one. My favorite is this uh, Synergy brand. It's so mm -hmm. dank. Oh my god. It's dank? Is that, yeah. is that the term? Yes. yes. All right. All right, let's go order. Yes. How would you describe your sound? Like, what's, what are like some of the most consistent pieces of like your music? I would consider my music feel good R&B. Yeah. So whatever makes you feel good. Just yeah. something that makes you just feel a breeze even when there's no breeze. Right. Kind of like, I'm just feeling down. What music can make someone feel better no matter what they're feeling? Right, for sure. And that's kind of the vibe I always try to go for. So something that you can always move to. Mm -hmm. Just want to smile and just want to just move around. Yeah, you know? for feel sure. Feel good. So that actually reminds me of something else I wanted to ask you. So music has this power to influence people and... Um, has this power to bring bring about change in different okay. ways. What kind of messages would you say you like give to your fans, your listeners, um, um, on that note? Well, I'm a super advocate for everyone living their best life. Right. So I'm teaching myself, and I feel like the way that I can remember it is through creating music, something I can repeat over and over. Yeah. So 
I just want my music to let you know that it's okay. Yeah. No matter what's going on in your life, it's okay. Mm -hmm. There are other things that you couldn't get past and you got past. Yeah. And it's okay. Yeah. This is just another one of them things, whatever that may be. Who would you say is like your top five, like just influences as an artist? Like, who would those, who would those people be? Alicia Keys, Kanye West. Yeah. Uh, Stevie Wonder. Jill Scott. Yeah. And it's more than five, but if yeah, I can break down to five. For sure. It's a it's a three way tie. It's between Beyonce, mm -hmm. Adele, and Mary J. No, 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 not Adele. Amy Winehouse. Yeah. I'm actually saying Amy Winehouse is number five. Yeah. Yeah, she can sing. Amy Winehouse is number five. You know who else is dope, though? I'm, I'm sure you're very familiar. Whitney Houston. Uh, Dude, yeah. I've been listening. Like, I just started listening to, like, her old, like, actual albums. That's a singer. Yeah. That's a singer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Some of your favorite albums of uh, 20, 2018 so far? Oh, yikes. Hard, right? Very hard. Yeah. It's been a lot of great projects out. Totally. Just a lot of great music happening right now. Mm -hmm. I think the best of 2018 hasn't even happened yet. I don't know, man. Could oh. see Ghost. There are some great Pretty albums, crazy. but there's a lot of like new budding artists that are like ready, that are dropping this year. Mm hmm. You know? I just can't wait for them to set the new tone. Yeah. Including myself. Sure. Yeah. Big bad. This is delicious. This is really fine. Like, I'm coming back for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> like, today. I was about to say, like, I don't even know what flavors I'm experiencing right now. That's what I'm saying, man. It's like, plant-based food is so good. We've become so desensitized from, like, real food. Most days, people just, like, put stuff in their mouths with no real awareness of, like, what what they're really doing to their Facts. bodies oh, this like, humans have become way. like low-key like experiment kits like our, our oh, bodies yeah. we've completely just forfeited all of our all of our freedom as consumers okay like yeah. this place though is actually yeah. amazing yeah. Yeah, this i can is come wild. here and grab lunch and then get like stuff to go like actual actual ingredients were there were there any life lessons you learned when you were in college that you still implement in your daily routine today yes indirectly i learned something i think the lesson was to do you for you mm -hmm. when i went out to school i was on a full scholarship i didn't for classical music yeah i didn't necessarily want to go Cool. But it's a full scholarship i was 17 when i left for college so my parents weren't really like listening for real but when I got out there, it just kind of like clicked, like, okay, you know what? This is the beginning of my life, making decisions for myself, and this is not one that I want to do. And I tried to fight it and mm -hmm. ignore how I was feeling, but I can't ignore myself. Mm -hmm. So it was just kind of going with my gut and doing me for me. And then I left, and I got cussed out. Mm -hmm. But And it was rough, but my mind was so set on me doing me for me that it didn't even affect me. It didn't even bother me. And now, you know, my parents are in full support of what I'm doing, and I'm out here doing what I love. That's great. That's awesome. The shout out to Organics. This place is amazing. Really nice space. Um, I had literally one of the best burritos of my life, period. Alex, she had, uh, what'd you have again? It was a chicken bacon ranch with sandwich with sweet potato fries. So yeah, we had one of the best meals ever, pretty much. And um, yeah, now it's Friday afternoon, about to go hang out.
forget to like and subscribe. Do it!